Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adrian, and today we created this delicious meal for you. Oh my goodness, we have some delicious coconut pumpkin rice paired with a delicious piece of kingfish. Ooh, that is jerk in that jerk seasoning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we have that top with some mushroom gravy. Oh my goodness. That just set it to another level. And then we have some fresh tomatoes and cucumbers. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors. Don't be selfish. Let's get into this video. You lost. Now you found. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. Right now. Cause I'm your plug. And I'm about to put you on to Adrian's cooking and food review, baby. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee over his food. Adrian's cooking and food review. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm super, super excited because we're making a delicious meal. So today we are gonna be making some jerk kingfish stewed down woo, with some mushrooms and peppers and onion and garlic and all those aromatics. All right guys, and then we're gonna pair that with some pumpkin rice, Lord of mercy. So, you know, pumpkin rice is very popular in Jamaica. So we have some jasmine rice, we have some butternut squash because I couldn't get pumpkin, but it's very close to that. We have our fresh piece of Kingfish, which I split in half because I'm going to share it. Um, peppers, onion, and thyme, which is green onion, thyme, scotch by pepper. are all going to cook down into our pumpkin with some coconut milk. We have our spice rack right here. So guys, this is going to be a delicious recipe. So please stick around and please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And tell a friend about Adrian cooking and food review, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you in just a moment. All right, guys, so now we're gonna be working on our pumpkin rice, which as we said before, we're using squash. So we have some water in the pot. We're gonna add in our butternut squash or our pumpkin. Then you wanna add some crushed garlic, fresh garlic. We're gonna bring this to a boil until they start to get tender. Then we're gonna come back with some coconut milk, scallion, thyme, and a whole pepper, bring that to a boil, season with a little bit of salt, probably a few allspice seeds, and then we're gonna wash our rice and put it. So guys, please stick around because this is gonna be amazing. All right, so now we're gonna be seasoning our kingfish. All right, so first we're gonna go in with some Badia complete seasoning. As I said, you guys know I love me some Badia, okay? Some black pepper. These fish are so meaty. The flavors are amazing. Uh, we're going with a little bit of all-purpose. Goya all-purpose adobo. A little bit of, what we have here? Paprika. A little bit of dried parsley. If you haven't seen my one seasoning challenge, please check that out. Cause as you can see now, I'm using a whole bunch of different seasoning and I decided to do one seasoning challenge. Can I tell you? <laughs> this is some garlic pepper seasoning. I like the flavor of that too. Some garlic powder, some cayenne pepper for a little bit more kick. Mm, mm, mm. Our ground jerk seasoning. Now, you know I live by this and my badia. I can season with that and badia all day. A day. And we have some sauce, doctor, jerk sauce. As I told you guys, this is a very versatile sauce that I've created. It's good for marinating. It's good for just a dipping sauce. It's good for everything, everything. All right. And then we're gonna go in with some of our wet jerk. Today I'm using Jamaica Choice because I ran out of my Walker Zid and I couldn't get any at the time. So we're just gonna fold these in into our marinade 
and we're gonna um, let this marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes covered and we'll move over to the stove and start cooking this up. All right guys, so now we're gonna test our butternut squash, AKA pumpkin. And if they're nice and starting to get tender, you can stick the fork through it. You know it's ready because we still wanna have a few chunks into our pumpkin rice, okay? So we're going in with a 13.5 ounce coconut milk. All right. We're just gonna rinse out the can with just a little bit more water to put in. And we're going to go in with our thyme, green onion, a whole habanero. We have like three allspice seed. We're going to go in with one tablespoon of salt or just salt to taste. And then we're going to bring this to a boil. And then we're going to wash our pound of jasmine rice and come back and add that to our pot. Okay, guys, so stick around because this is going to be amazing. All right. All right, guys. So our pot is bubbling nicely. As I said, these are nice and tender. Once you start steaming the rice, they're going to start break down. I don't want them to be flat already. I want to have some of that in there. So we're going to go in with our one pound of jasmine rice. Hopefully this is enough. Because <laughs> that would be an epic failure if I have soggy rice here on camera. Because now you all wouldn't trust me in cooking for you, right? <laughs> So I think one pound is enough, maybe none, we'll see. Um, so yes, we're gonna bring this to a boil. Once it's come to a boil and the liquids start dry out, then we're gonna turn the stove down and cover it and let it steam through. So guys, stick around. I know a lot of people put butter in their rice, but I think it cuts the coconut away. That's what my mama said. I never tried it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's stick around because this is gonna be a delicious bit. All right, guys, so rice is starting to dry out. You just wanna go in with your fork a little bit like this and kind of smash your pumpkin a little bit into your rice. As you can see, it's nice and creamy. We're just waiting on this to um, dry out a little bit more. Once it dries out a little bit more, then we're gonna cover seal tight and put it on low and let it finish steam through but the aromas from this pot with that coconut milk and the herbs and stuff. Oh my goodness. Guys, stick around because you don't wanna miss the rest of this. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go in with our fish. Now, you know, frying fish, you gotta make sure that it's right. All right? So we're gonna brown each side until the fish literally move from out of the pot because you know when fish is not ready to flip it's not gonna come out all right so we're gonna brown these on both sides move them aside and then we're gonna start our vegetables in our oil and i'll see you in just a few all right so just look at that crust that we created on that fish oh my goodness now i know a lot of you may say that's burnt but no that is all the flavor right there that jerk soaked into this fish Ooh. And when we saute these vegetables in the same oil, it's gonna be so flavorful. So guys, stick around because you don't wanna miss this. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go over to our rice in just a moment and show you once all our liquid starts drying out and start become nice and fluffy and just flavorful. All right guys, listen to some of that sound. Look, get a close up. Oh my goodness. All right, so as you can see, we added about two tablespoons of butter to our pan. We already took out our fish and let them vibe on the side. All those flavors are gonna soak into our mushrooms and peppers and onion medley. We're gonna get some minced garlic too. We're gonna go in with all of this. Oh my goodness. So my camera just stopped because my storage was full. But as you can see, these are sweating down nicely. The flavors and everything is coming through. We're gonna go in with one tablespoon of minced garlic. You all know I love me some garlic, right? All right, so we're gonna fold this in, let it go for a few. And then we're gonna come and put in a little bit of Badia complete seasoning in there. That's all we're gonna put in here. 
You know I love my badia. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, guys, so rice is nice and steam through. Nice and fluffy. We're gonna let this just go for another minute or two uncovered. And it should be fluffy, okay? All right, guys, so we're gonna go look at our fish and then we're gonna plate this up. And then, you know, you'll see the finished product. All right, so let's go in with our badia. And just to taste, all right? No, that's done. We did marinate our fish into some sauce. So we add a little bit of Worcestershire, a little bit of water, and just a splash of vinegar. All right. We're gonna fold this all together. And we're gonna come in with our fish on low. And just let this Cover it and let it vibe in the pot for about two to three minutes, all right? So we'll be right back to show you the finished product. All right, so our fish is done. Just look how delicious that looks. Oh my goodness. Our jerk fish topped with mushroom and peppers and onion and a nice garlic, garlicky sauce. Ooh. Guys, stick around because we're gonna play this up and we're ready to eat. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so here's our finished product. We have our delicious jerk kingfish with our mushroom medley, our coconut pumpkin rice, some fresh tomatoes and cucumbers. We garnish with some delicious peppers. And that is our jerk sauce that we use, original Jamaican, Jamaican choice. So guys, I'm gonna give you a 360 view of this delicious plate. So guys, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you like the content and you've been here before and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notif notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new upload. And as always say, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors. Don't be selfish because they wanna be a part of this fun and personality. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.